You're watching reviews with booze. And today we dive into the dark world of ghosts and their album, Epos Eponymous. This album is 34 minutes and 46 seconds of organ back, unrelentless, satanic ritual. That's right. There aren't songs on this album. There are only nine rituals. And it sounds like you're being led through a satanic temple while choirs sing harmonic praises to their dark lord. You open your eyes to see terror, but it can't be described in colors of shrieks and screams, but only in harmonic colors. What I love about this album is that it's to the point. Short, but every song is good from front to back. There, You don't gotta skip around. You throw it on and you just let the album ride. If you don't like Satan, though, steer clear of this motherfucking album. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This album is extremely satanic. Every song is satanic. But hey, if you can look past that, it's fucking rock and roll. It reminds me of Merciful Fate and Blue Oyster Cult mixed together to forge a completely new steel unlike anything anybody's ever heard, but with familiar influences. I give this album two fucking satanic devil horns up, and I think you should go out and buy it. I think my favorite song on here is Elizabeth about the bloody Countess Bathory. Maybe the song Ritual, too. Anyways, this is a great album, and I can't wait for this band to do another one. I hope they come to the States sometime on a full last tour to stop by my town, because it will be awesome. I also saw on YouTube the singer did Here Comes the Sun, kind of acapella with scary sounds or something, keyboards, and it just sent chills down my spine, so I recommend scoping this fucking band. Thanks, you've been watching Booze and Reviews.